Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, we're going to go through these questions again. This is the second part of MBA 800 exam questions. So first one, obviously the sixth number, number six, is says, you're setting approval workflow in Dynamics 365 Business Central. You need to configure approval limits. These four options were given, and you need to find out which one the answer for, which are what the answer for these. So read approval request to approve or define the work for user setup regardless of the amount. That will be the most fast, which will be direct approval. Root approval request to the approval defined in the workflow response regardless of the amount. That will be the specific one. And the third one so it says root approval request to a user who can approve request for the required amount. That will be first qualified approval. Uh, next question, company uses Dynamics 365 Business Central. The company wants to print financial statements by using a cloud-based printer. So cloud-based printer, it should be uh, the email printer, which is the answer A. Uh, the next question, it says, you create a test instance of Dynamic 365 Business Central and enter transactions for testing purposes. You create a production company instance in the same business central environment, you need to copy the setup and uh, and master data from the test instance to the production instance without copying transaction data. So what are two options you're gonna select? So we got four options here. Use the run migration now function from cloud migration management, create and export configuration package, and obviously uh, then import it and use the copy data from company function mm -hmm. from the configuration uh, worksheet page and then use the copy function from the company's house so it's a cr like hard question so basically option B and option C satisfy this uh, satisfy this situation uh, you are creating a company for multiple com customers in a cloud-based version of Dynamics 365 Business Central by using assisted setup so assisted setup you should know how to set up so for example, if you got this, you can go to the assisted setup and create new company. And then you press next, it will show you what company you need to select evolution. And you know, only sample data production is set up there only and create new is no data. So that's the question was asking. So you need to select from there what to do. Let's move it across. So there. So create new company that has set up data. That set up and sample data. So let's see which ones you got. So production, evolution, evolution got sample data. So that will be the correct one. And create a company that does not have set up data. That's a create new, no data. And then the third one is create a blank company that has setup data but does not have sample data. So that's the setup data only as a production one. Next question says you're implementing Dynamic 365 Business Central for customer. The customer wants to upload starting entries for all master data through a journal journal on the last day of the current month. You need to upload the data according to this requirement. Which three functions should you select? So you select A option A, vendor opening balances, and GL account opening balances, and E, customer opening balances. That satisfies this question. And number 10, it says you are setting up a testing, um, a workflow with approval hierarchy in the Dynamic 365 with the central. In approval user setup, you configure the following user setup. So you got users, their limits, and then obviously comments with the approval for is um, user 4 is configured as direct approval for user 1. Then the question says uh, you create an enable and approval workflow, you configure the workflow to use the approval limit type approval chain. To test the workflow, user 1 creates a purchase of 4 1100 and runs the send, um, send approval request function. You need to define the action that occurred when the flow runs so you got these situations written there the most accurate one we found is c which is user 2 because it's 1100 is above this person's limit 
So um, you, you're two and you're three in between with ordering, so that means uh, 1100 comes under this that starts from user 2 will receive a request. Once the user 2 approves the request, user 3 will receive an uh, approval request. Once they both approve the request, the purchase order is released. So we just covered five questions. It's just for the convenience so people can understand and they don't have to focus too much on things. So we'll make the next part three with the next five questions or however many questions I can do. Thank you for watching.